Hello friends. So we are here today to talk about pedal charts, or as you may have heard them called, pedal graphs, pedal diagrams. They're basically these lines that you will see all over harp music, especially when there's a lot of chromaticism because it gives us a point of reference to know what our pedals need to be placed at at a given point in the piece. So when you see the pedals, um, you'll, the line down the middle is just kind of where the harpist is sitting at the harp. So you'll have three pedals on the left side of the harp and then four pedals on the right side. You could come up with a mnemonic to remember which pedal is which, but the easiest way to think about it, your two inner pedals are your first two flats. The next two pedals are the first two sharps, so C and F, and then you have the other three pedals on the outside. D, G, and A. So B and E in the middle, C and F in the middle, on the middle of the middle, and then D, G, and A on the outside of the heart. Now, when the pedals are in the up position, that correlates to flat. So top of the line, that means that the pedal is in flat position or all the way up on the heart. If you see the pedal in the middle position, that means it's in natural. And then when the pedal is down below the line, you're in sharp position. So this gives you a really handy clue to help you know what the pedals are at and to keep track of the pedals. So when you are writing for the harp, it's a good idea to know what the pedals are doing, what position is in, because then that tells you if you need pedal changes. So. This is your little mini lesson on pedal charts, or if you call them something different, it all refers to the same thing. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I will be glad to chat with you or do a follow-up post with some more details.